we provide uh, a toy pearl um, AFR protein A uh, HC 650F. It's a whole long uh, name for um, a modern resin that uh, can purify monoclonal antibodies by the conventional protein A technology, but more efficient. Um, the, it's, it's developed to um, have a high dynamic binding capacity. And this means that you need less of the material for purifying more of the monoclonal antibody. And um, this is a large part of the production cost. Protein A uh, technology uh, has been around for a few decades. Um, it started with uh, a protein that was derived from a bacteria and has shown uh, a specific affinity for uh, monoclonal antibodies. And this has been a technology, but it doesn't. Uh, it didn't stay there. In uh, so. Uh, has been developments and, and people are moving into a higher capacity because um, protein A resins are reputedly very expensive. So it's a large part of the purification process in, in money-wise. If you need less of the resin, it's less investment. That's quite clear, I think. Um, and also, if you have to use a large uh, volume of this resin, you also need large columns and large systems to process the, the resin. Uh, and this is also an investment. So by reducing the volume of the, the protein A resin, you reduce the, the size of the columns, the size of the pumps that needs uh, to flow the, the columns. Um, and also the um, the connecting technologies, because it doesn't stop by protein A purification. You will need next steps for purification. And also this, if you reduce the volume initially in the start of the purification process, it will only be beneficial for the next steps. So it's, it's an escalate of reducing costs.